He Man. thought it was better to go with. Well, you know what? I'll be honest with you. At the time, Easy's um, his persona. Um, was like, do you go with Suge? He's like, well, he's a gangster. You don't want to get killed. Do you go with Easy? You, been, you know, you hear all the stuff talking about, oh, he was taking the money. So we thought, oh, we we'll go with the Church Boy. We'll go with MC Hammer. But he was the most gangster one of all. Of I them. heard about it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One. He got us a ticket the next day, mm. and we flew out to L.A. and we were met at the um, airport with Holes with Attitude. Remember Holes with Attitude? Mm -hmm. They was there, and you know, he was like, "Whatever you want." I mean, he was just very accommodating, and it was cool. We met with them; they liked us. And then we heard that there was another group, and they were from St. Louis, and that was Bone Thugs and Harmony. And it was like we did it back then. This is, I'm real old school. We had things called demo deals, okay. and the demo deals were three months. They gave you a three month, um, three months to be on the demo deal, and after the three months, once three months was up, they had one day to either decide to keep you or let you go. Mm -hmm. And I was told that um, because at the time, Suge Knight was interested in us. Um, we had a lot of people that were interested in the group, and um, at the time, our production company, Whole Nine, um, they had just signed a contract with MC Hammer, and so they were like, "Well, Hammer wants to see you guys as well." And so um, when we were told that Easy didn't pick us up, which I found out now was a lie, the dude in the group who started the group didn't even tell us Easy called and wanted us. Wow. Um, he Man. thought it was better to go with. Well, you know what? I'll be honest with you. At the time, Easy's um, his persona um, was like, "Do you go with Suge?" He's like, "Well, he's a gangster. You don't want to get killed. Do you go with Easy?" You, been, you know, you hear all the stuff talking about, "Oh, he was taking the money." So we thought, "Oh, we we'll go with the Church Boy. We will go with MC Hammer." But he was the most gangster one of all. Of I them. heard about you know it. You know, I heard he was because you thinking, "Oh, I'll go with this guy to go to church." And you know what I'm saying? And you know, holy, holy, you know, all that kind of stuff. And you thinking, and then, and I'm, and no offense, Ham, but I really look back and go, "God, we should have stayed with Easy." You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we should have stayed with Easy. Easy. Yeah, Easy was cool. Honestly, a lot of stuff you talk about. He was a cool dude. Um, you know, um, a lot of wisdom. A lot of wisdom. A lot of people didn't understand that Easy came from a lot of wisdom. He came from. See, a lot of people. You know, and, and I think this is what Melvin was. We was talking about. A lot of times, um, we we look up and we say, "Oh, you know, we gangsters, this and that." But a lot of us wasn't true gangsters. You know what I'm saying? We we we, we hung around people that were gangsters. Cause I'm gonna be honest with you, a true gangster like Melvin, and him, they don't want to be on the media. They don't want to be on television. No, no, no. They don't want to do their dirt in front of everybody. They don't want to brag that they killed people and they sold. This he movie, wasn't even supposed to be on the ranks. panel that day. I know you seen the big uh, blowout yes, in here. Yes, it, it, it went yeah. it went viral. It was all over World Star and uh, it was on uh, Vlad. Uh, Vlad and all Cam Capone and all the Southern uh, Dallas Global. Everybody. Well, was I mean, passed. I'll be honest with you, but, but the listen. true, but the true gangsters, true, true. No offense, the truth. And y'all, y'all, that was his rappers, first time. Y'all rappers Lamar, and the people that they tell me, oh, they never I'm been down on with this and that. I'm going to be honest. I'm an OG. I'm going to tell you the truth. You ain't worried about studio time. You ain't worried about getting the rings on your finger. You ain't worried about getting a Grammy. You ain't worried about why my billboard's not that. You worried about the streets. You worried about your hustle. You worried about making money for your neighborhood, your family, your baby's mama. You worried about that. So you know when, what I'm saying? when you, you don't want to do it in front of, and you don't want everyone to know your business, because when you talk and you let everyone know your business, you know people research and you know what I'm saying and that's a, that's a way of you uh, leaving this world because mm -hmm. you got a lot of one thing you got a lot of haters mm -hmm. you got a lot of people that get mad when you come up. Definitely, you know what I'm saying? definitely. I was just telling up. my son that before y'all got here, um, you are a uh, true uh, legendary guy, man, uh, for what Thank you me. guys have done, man. Uh, where's the other guys in the group? But you left them. You didn't left the group. You left. No, 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 no. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I own DRS LLC. Okay. And so I go under as Dirty Rotten Scoundrels or DRS. Okay. So I have two other guys that I hired, and they come along with me sometimes when I'm doing the whole group. Um, one, unfortunately, the guy who started the group, Chris, um, he's in prison. Okay. Um, um, and then uh, my my baby bro, um, Lavelle, the one who was in the casket. Yeah. Um, he and he's my writing partner. Um, unfortunately, he's incarcerated as well. We're trying oh. to work and trying to get him out right now. Trying to you know, it's, it's this new law in California where they kind of um, you know they got rid of three strikes. Yeah. But they got this SB. I can't think of the name of it. Where if you this is what we got to watch out. And this is the reason why I tell people you got to learn these laws learn the and laws. What we, you got to learn the laws and and stuff like that because even though we got rid of three strikes in California, they put a new law in that if you're an habitual and like say so what was going on is that you had all these no offense, white people, Caucasians, yep. that were stealing bread, and all of a sudden they're getting life sentences. And they were like, this ain't right, this ain't right. But um, what happened is, when we go to prison or we do things, a lot of times we're doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So if I got caught with a, a, dope, a dope charge, 
the next time I go in, if I get caught with another dope charge, mm -hmm. the third time I get caught with a dope charge, they're going to say I'm not rehabilitable. Mm -hmm. they, so what they're going to do is they're going to lock me up or they might put me into a mental institution saying, you know what, we can't really, um, we can't, you know, he, we, can, we can't get him back on the streets. Mm -hmm. And you're stuck there. And you're stuck in this legal system where they won't let you out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And so one of my boys is going through that. One of my boys got a little depressed about the industry. Um, you know, and, and, this was, and this is the reason why I'm trying to work on this a thing called Second Coming. It's a reality show. And, um, you know, um, the industry is, you know, people talk about the Illuminati and stuff. I just call it Satan. I call it the devil. Exactly. Most definitely. You know, I, I just call it the devil. And I tell people my boy got really depressed. Um, you know, when you're told you're owed $4 million and you ain't got a dime, you know, you'd be depressed too. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you know, you would, you would. And so he was like, I don't want to do music no more. So he got out. And then one partner, and I'm gonna talk about you, my my boy, my cousin. He um he decided he don't he only want people to know he was part of the group. You know what I'm saying? He just how many was in the uh, how many five of, us. five of you? I thought it was. So I'm only I'm be honest with you. I'm the only one. But it was by the grace of God that I was able to sing every part. I'm the only one that actually can represent. DRS right now. I'm trying to get my boy EJ back with me. I think if, if that happens, man, I'm just, I'd be so blessed. Who said, who songs, this song dedicated, and, and hey, you were going in, man, he's this smooth. This song's dedicated to, to my, my homies yeah. in that gangster league. Yeah, he come in smooth. Just Why, like. yeah. I'll be honest with you, I wanted this, after the two of them wanted to leave, I was like, well, shoot, we could be the next OJs. Mm. This song's dedicated to my Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.